These people are fanatics, and they're here, in London. London's always been a melting pot, but in that time, there was a feeling of, you know, that we were going to go back to Mosley's idea of, you know, anti-Semitism. There really was, and, 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 and my husband in the show, Adam Wainwright, plays a Labour politician, he's the MP for West Peckham, and so that becomes a seat of great civil unrest. It's just the way that Anthony weaves in all the stories, he makes it somehow so relevant. When it was first came out, I think Foswell set a standard for, for um, television drama, and I do think that, that it's now being matched by other dramas that have come up, but I mean, and it's certainly for strong female characters, I don't, I mean, I, I struggle to remember as strong a character as somebody like Sam Stewart being around, but now, you know, you've got Claire Danes' character in Homeland, a lot, I mean, television drama is really coming into its own. So yes, we've got to compete with, with those shows, but um, I think that the bigger Anthony makes the world of Fours War, the better it becomes as a show. We're in the Cold War in Fours War. Mm. Um, memorably, in Rambo 3, Sylvester Stallone went to <laughs> Afghanistan and defeated the Soviet army with nothing more than a bow and arrow. Or rather, oh. you or Michael Kitchen going to end up in that situation? Where the hair came. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, gosh. Well, you never know. I wouldn't put it past Anthony to put us in there, in that situation, because his, uh, his plots get sort of more and more epic, which I love. Um, you know, we're not doing the sort of um, family drama anymore. Because it's always a, there's a very strong theme of, of, of um, actual issues that, yeah. that, that, that occur, that, that do pop up in the scripts. Yeah. And, and so do you think people watching this, you were talking about some of the, the privations people are endured and, yeah, and the, the poverty. And yeah, well, uh, well, do, you think people, do you think people are going to be able to spot the, the, the parallels? Well, I think, I mean, I, I think they, they couldn't fail to, you know. Um, by the way, I mean, it's just so clever of Anthony that, the way he somehow managed to tap into the zeitgeist, you know, like there's been a lot in the press recently about people in Britain right today not having enough to eat, and I just, uh, it's just interesting how these things are, you know, the problems don't really go away. History has a funny way of <laughs> yeah. just spinning around yeah, yeah. and people no, assuming nothing new it's, under the sun. Yeah, th it's yeah. the first time it's happened. Yeah. Do you think yeah. people, is the hope that some, of, some people will be watching this think, this is, this is kind of crazy, that we're still well, sort of experiencing the same issues yeah. that are being experienced? Yes, exactly. Years, yeah. I mean, how have, we, how have we not sorted it out in this day and age? Yeah.